Hey guys, we are heading down river. Just cruising at 12 kilometers an hour. Give you a view out the front. Yes. She's a nice river to her. This is where Marinette shine because of the two foot draft. Loves the rivers. But yeah. Chopper Chug Mart right there. Usually I'll come to this if I need to go to Shoppers. Um, well, like last year, my other boat. And then uh, Canadian Tire is right up there. So, like Chatham's a really, you know, good place for a, a boating town, you know? Yeah, so at this speed, we probably got a two and a half hour, two and a half hour trek down river, so. We'll keep you updated if anything goes on. <laughs> All right, cheers. Life for me is a riverboat fantasy. <laughs> All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, the trip uh, so far isn't uh, um, without problems. Uh, my port side engine won't stay running. So it's possible a fuel problem, which sucks because there's like half a tank of fuel on the port side and uh, just under quarter in the starboard. So I don't have too far to go, maybe another 15 clicks. But yeah, we're just running our uh, uh, 1100 RPM doing, uh, oh, my fish finder is reading fish under me. <laughs> Um, yeah, doing about 11 kilometers an hour. So, I'll be there in an hour. An hour, just about there. Better than that. She's a beauty day. Absolutely beautiful. I'll get the mechanics at the marina to grab a look at it. Yeah, not something you can do underway. <laughs> Especially solo boating. I'd have to drop anchor and piss around with it. But yeah, could be fuel issue, could be um, the timing. But yeah, she was running rough as soon as you get it up to, uh, when I started off, it'd get up to uh, about, uh, let's say, 1800 RPM and then die out. And then now it's just like dying and I can start it up and it. As soon as you start giving it gas, um, it'll die out. So that's what's uh, got me going towards a fuel issue. So I'm gonna have to check that out. I gotta pull the fuel filters, the fuel water separator filter, and uh, see if there's anything in there. But we're still good. We still got a little under a quarter tank on the starboard side. So we'll make her. I has faith because the port side engine was actually rebuilt um, it was set in there but um, the guy who bought the boat um, did the um, um, you know batten it up or whatnot but yeah more reason I need to convert to diesel <laughs> all right cheers guys we are just heading on our way. Coach me coffees. Got two for the trip. She's absolutely gorgeous day though. Beautiful out. Absolutely beautiful. I could do this all day. Literally all day. So eventually, in three years, I'll be doing this down the east coast. Yep, my plan is with this boat is in three years, um, gonna semi-retire and uh, gonna head Lake Erie to the Erie Canal, take the Erie Canal to Albany, 
and then uh, this guy is on a pontoon boat. I don't know how well you can see. Yeah, as I said, eventually take the Erie Canal to uh, Albany, New York, take the Hudson River down to uh, the ICW, and head to Florida. Found a good little spot in uh, Green Cove Springs, you can anchor out there. It's a decent sized place, so I could actually live there. Probably find a little bit of work, and then uh, come back up uh, springtime. Just do that constantly. All right, cheers guys. We should be getting probably another 10 kilometers to the marina. And then it's haul out. <laughs> All right, cheers. <laughs> All right guys, we're here at Lucan Marina. A lot of good people here. Heard a lot of good things about them. That's why I come here. But yep, it was a bitch coming in, backing in because my port engine won't stay running. So it was a bit of a nightmare, but we got her. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, she'll be getting hauled out in the next week or so. I'll be back up here uh, Wednesday, clean her out, do my dishes. <laughs> but, I gotta head back to London. Go back to work and pay for this shit. <laughs> Alright, cheers guys. That was an awesome trip. Can't wait till next season. <laughs>